okay, we're in the Chael Son and Trevor Prangley fight again. Um, Chael has the most amazing double legs. Um, I'm going to talk through this double leg again. He's chaining moves together, but um, yeah, this is this is just one of the sweetest double legs. I mean, he actually does a low double leg shot, which you don't see much in MMA. Yeah, so um, anyway, I'm going to talk my way through it. So, Chael and Trevor, and what we're going to get is we're going to get... Chael shoot from about 55 million miles away, um, really well outside the shooting distance. Trevor sees it coming straight away. He goes to put some kind of frame in there, or I don't know, slap Chael in the ear or something. I don't know. It'd be nice if he'd have framed off the forehead there, kept his hips away and stuff. But we can see that Chael has done this massive shot okay and he's well outside the control zone we would want really want a foot uh, the ball of the foot to be next to the ball of the foot of of trevor if that's really where we're aiming for so he's miles out from this position trevor's moving backwards he's trying to escape from this situation he manages to do the rock over step so let's let's go back and see what a rock over step is so to travel some extra distance to get some more power through um Trevor's, to Trevor's hips we have a rock over step so the wall, weight goes onto the ball of the foot and then the knee of that leading leg will collapse and normally we'd want it to be somewhere like here in between his legs and we're seeing Chael reach with both arms lovely long trailing leg maybe not as low a shoot as you would get in freestyle but he shoots in we see the rock over step the knee hit the floor and we're seeing him really far out from Trevor Prangley. We would really want his body to be here, <laughs> uh, actually underneath the, the hips or hitting the hips. So he's, he's really far out on this position. Um, the trailing leg is now gonna be brought through and it's gonna step up onto this side and he's wanting to turn the corner. So what's turning the corner? Well, he's gonna change his direction of motion in 90 degrees. So his ear will go on the hip. His hand really wants to slide down, collect the back of the knee. He wants to step up with this foot and then drive towards us as though he's coming in, in into the picture. Okay, so we're gonna see him step up his left leg. Can you see how he turns the corner? So his hips have turned 90 degrees. He now wants to drive towards us. He wants to drive towards us in the picture. Now, Trevor has been slowed down. He's been captured. We've got, I, we, I don't know how he's done it, but Chael's managed to suck these hips in and he's now got contact he's got a, a bar across from the ear to the elbow across the hips he's gathered in the hips and he's collected the back knee of this we've now got him standing on this foot and he's going to power off this foot and drive through this ear and as he does so prangly he's going to have to turn his hips to face Chael now Chael has gone, come out and he's gathered up one leg this leg wasn't deep enough for him to be able to drive uh, Prangley over the top of it. So this hand wasn't down on the knee, okay? If this had been cut on the knee, he would have had that take down and Prangley would have been laying down over here. But Prangley has managed to keep his balance. He's now feeding uh, Chael a single leg. He's not doing anything with his arms apart from trying to keep balance, okay? And um, we are gonna see Chael now not switch out to the single leg. I would kind of recommend switching out to the single leg. Chael doesn't believe in single legs in MMA, which are, I keep going on about, sorry about that. But he's going to continue his drive on the double leg. So we're gonna see him drive with his ear. And as Trevor steps his leg out to sprawl, what a lot of people would do is they would just try and keep this distance here and try and reshoot. But what Chael's gonna do is he's gonna step in deep into the control zone with his right leg. <laughs> and he's going to step so that his weight goes directly underneath the hips of Trevor Prangley. So now we've got a power line here. So if Chael holds that leg, holds that leg and stands up, then we're going to see Prangley go through the sky, into the sky. Um, we've got a lot of drive off this leg, which was the leg that he stepped up and cut off, and he's driving with his ear, okay? So this is all really nice. So we can see that he's now driving Trevor Prangley in this direction towards the man in the blue shirt with his ear and he's blocking this guy. His hand isn't quite low enough to catch the back, back of the knee and Prangley is leaning his weight over the top and he's driving in a little bit with his hips with a bit of a sprawl 
and Chael is now, as I say, driving in this direction, so he wants to cut this knee and put um, Prangley down on this side, but we'll see that Chael drives, and he almost puts himself off balance. See how he's onto the side of his own foot? Prangley has managed to keep himself upright. He's managed to use his post, his ball of his foot at this point to stop himself falling over. And he's now trying to gather in um, Chael's hips so that he can sprawl down. And Chael's got to be a little bit careful now because his head is slowly rising up the inside of um, Prangley's body. Um, sometimes that can be a good thing. Um, sometimes it can be a bad thing. In this case, with the cut and the failed the fail move to the drive, then it probably would be a bad thing. Okay, so we see Chael now turn back and step through, leaning on Prangley. And all he's going to do now is he's going to basically stop Prangley being able to r move these legs. So he's not going to cut the legs from underneath him. He's going to push the hips faster than Prangley can get the legs underneath him. Because he's holding the legs, basically Prangley's going to run out of legs. So he's not going to be able to step his feet down as Chael pushes. Ooh. So we're still seeing Chael turning towards the guy in the blue. His head's coming around towards the guy in the blue. He's p making sure all the pressure and all the power is going on to this leg of Prangley, the leg that's behind Chael Sonnen, and we're seeing him turn the corner, and now he's just going to start to blast that double, so he's going to start running Prangley, and Prangley starts to run out of legs, now this is a strange thing that Prangley decides to do at this point, well maybe it's not strange, maybe he knows he's going to go down on the ground, so what he's going to try and do is he's going to try and sacrifice throw uh, Chael over the top of him by throwing himself back and throwing uh, Chael over his head so that he lands on the ground. So we'll see Prangley go down now and try to throw Chael over the top of him. Um, he does use his legs and he does actually manage to get Chael to go over the, over the top of him. But Chael is such a good wrestler that, that he's still, even though he's upside down, he's in this wrestler's bridge. Yeah, He's still pinning um, Prangley. Look how he's looking at the point where Prangley hit. This is just absolutely beautiful wrestling. So the shoulder is now in the breadbasket of Prangley. It's the pinning uh, shoulder. His hips are off the ground. If his hips had collapsed to the floor, then the likelihood is the scramble would have been an even scramble. We would have seen... Uh, one of them win uh, because it would have been a 50-50 race because the weight is being driven in from this wrestler's bridge into this shoulder of Chael's that's in um, the solar plexus of Prangley what that means is Chael's holding these hips up and what he's going to do is he's going to rotate around his right shoulder still driving that right shoulder in to be able then to win that scramble to get that top control and he ends up in side control absolutely delightful takedown so when you see Chael shoot you see him shoot basically a freestyle double leg it's basically a freestyle double leg sorry about the ping that's my phone I'm not going to stop it because I've been doing this for ages so the only thing that I would warn you about when Chael shoots here, he has no cover as he reaches. Um, what he should be doing is he should be covering his head before he makes contact. But I think he's just, he knows better than me, so what am I saying? He's just reaching for Prangley. Prangley could have stopped this at this point. If this palm had landed on um, Chael's forehead, he could have pushed his hips away and it could have been done. That shot could have been done. But this shot, as I say, is a low freestyle wrestling <laughs> double leg and you don't see them in MMA very often maybe it's time they came back anyway that's uh, Chael's double leg and um, even though this one is not the best technical double leg that he does it's just amazing that he can still manage to use that to be able to chain together his sequence doesn't switch out to the single keeps the drive on Prangley runs out of legs and takes him down. It's all beautiful. Um, thank you very much. I hope you can add it to your game. Bye.